individualize. Good instructors individualize. Each individual learns differently, obviously, and approaches the learning experience with varied competence. Each person is a unique and special human being, and they bring to that learning experience the sum total of their life. Thus, we need to approach each person differently. Consider, what motivates the individual? Why would they be willing to engage in that task? Is it for the sheer enjoyment of that task? Is it because they like being around you and they enjoy the fact that you celebrate the things that they do? Do they enjoy being around other people when they're doing that task? Do they enjoy the task because of what it accomplishes afterwards? You may not particularly enjoy washing or waxing your car. It's, you know, very difficult work. But you enjoy the fact that many people come on come over to you afterwards and say, did you get a new car? Even though it's 10 years old, right? Because you spent so much time detailing it, you have a great deal of pride in it. What motivates the individual? We need to ask ourselves about the person's attention span. Some people may only realistically be able to stay on task for five or 10 minutes, and then we have to alternate task and go on some kind of break or engage in some activity that is more preferred on their behalf. Some people can engage in tasks longer. We're always striving, though, to increase that person's attention span longer, 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 right? What are the likely distractors? And we talked about them. What about that person's rate of learning? How quickly do they learn tasks? Do they require lots and lots of trials to criterion? Trials to cri criterion means how many times do they need to exercise that task? How many times do they need to practice it before they learn it?